All right. Anyways, about Batgirl, the Batgirl movie. Of course, everyone already knows by now, and this has most likely been extreme, gonna be extremely delayed, but it still has to be said. The reason why I'm doing this video, the reason why it's being told, talked about, is because one dude, just one dude. I talked about him before, kind of. But it seems like his mindset, even though he might have some good points, there's some points where it's like, dude, you're a curmudgeon, man. It's like, what the hell? I didn't watch this video because I'm like, why do I need to listen to him? Because his, his thumbnail says it all. He basically feels he wants to dismiss and basically like, dude, what the frick you're talking about? When he's like, for Kevin Smith, he's like, I don't care if his dog. Sh 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 I'm pretty sure he's going to be like, I'm even though it's not good, even though it's crap, you think it's sh sh still you should release it. We all should actually deserve to actually judge it. And I agree. I mean. You worked on it, ninety dollars, ninety million dollars. It's like, do you know how many from the two thousands, two thousand tens, heck, even to this day, we have people who didn't have much, they have much money, but they wanted to make a movie. One good one, Hood Rats. <laughs> There's one, I forgot which one was called with Jimmy Bond. Another one, there's many freaking ones that's like they didn't have much, but they wanted to tell a story and they didn't give a shit if it actually looked bad because they wanted to tell a story. <sighs> Always what I'm talking about story. That's what matters. So, and we can even go with what's going on with Marvel and them back in the past and also Sony. When it comes to Marvel, let's see what Marvel did. Yeah, Marvel actually is just taking steps and still doing it. Even though you'll be like, oh, well, the Inhumans was a flop. They still did it. They still, it still happened. Um, people didn't care about Shang-Chi, I guess. Many people definitely didn't care about Eternals, which are like, just hold tight. That's the origin story. You gotta let it be the sequel. The sequel is gonna freaking be the real deciding vote of how well do you like these characters in this franchise in this tril trilogy most likely anything else anything else that's I think that's basically it we can go to the TV world but I think we're good enough as for DC as for what you did in the past or what happened in the past Green Lantern Green Lantern is the best example I forgot how much you they spent for it in the past, but when the trailer dropped, many people were like, what the fuck is this costume? What the hell is this costume? At this point, they could have easily pivot and said, okay, we can change the costume. They could have easily pivoted like, okay, we can change the costume. We can, we can do something to change it. And it's like, yeah, I guess, but I'm pretty sure since it's way in development and now they're doing trailers for it, it might not be that easy to do. But on the other hand, it might be easy to do. Yeah, but it's kind of like a funny insult too, where it's like the freaking um, v VFX team. You're kind of insulting them secretly, though. You're kind of insulting them, being like, oh my gosh, what's with suit? And it's like, they're the ones who technically made it. There might be concept art, which I would like to see the concept art. But for all we know, maybe this outcome came from the VFX team. And then you're saying, oh, it's horrible, it sucks. And it's like, they worked so hard to make the suit. They could try to fix it in the future, like what happened with Amazing Spider-Man, but... Y'all guys were like, F -f -f that boo, boo, oh my gosh, boo sucks, oh my gosh, boo. And it's like, yeah, and then not mentioned with Fox over there with Fantastic Four, which I was kind of rooting for it. They changed so much stuff in it, and still they were actually willing to go for it, even though it diverted from the original vision, which most likely would have been better with what you got here. Not to mention Spider-Man 3. 
the freaking producers, the executive producers thought it was still, it was actually good to release this movie. Yes, it will release, yes, it will give you money. Yeah, of course it will. But you guys should have shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, seriously though. I've heard many, many freaking whispers and lots of stuff where it's like, y'all guys had so much to freaking things to say about this movie and we wonder why it actually went down in flames we wonder why the fourth movie got cancelled because you guys suck <laughs> but yet they actually were cool enough to still release the movie even though it's gonna perform well it's like yeah but still it's like that's kind of messed up part two was like but don't you guys believe it will perform well it is a batman movie you do have michael keaton people love michael keaton of course to see his return like not only once but twice you don't think they're gonna actually try to go see michael keaton as batman again you you don't think so it's like you gotta be freaking loco in this you gotta be loco anything else dc wise oh what about the fact that they were okay with batman forever which i like the movie Many people hate it. And what about Batman and Batman and Robin? Many people hate that movie too. But yet you guys actually stuck with your guns and said, well, even so Val Kilmer left, we have to cast a new Batman, even though it's like, you know, if you have two Batman, people who play as Batman walk out, you know, maybe you're doing something wrong with the whole entire angle of the freaking movie franchise. You would kind of figure you would figure that out, but they sure didn't. They kept on going, and they almost even had a fifth movie. But at this point, they actually wised up and said, okay, fine, it won't work. But still, they, they took them two movies, and they're like, oh, we don't need Tim Burton. We can do things ourselves. And it's like, and we got um Jerry Brooke, Sherkheimer, or whatever name. And it's like, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're doing awesome. We're good. What about the fact of when it comes to Disney and the freaking Star Wars? I'm pretty sure when they saw the second movie, um, The Last Jedi, and also... So, The Last Jedi, what was the one before that? So, Force Awakens, I forgot the name, Last Jedi. Well, anyways, the eighth movie and the ninth movie, they kind of figured that it was very bad anyways. So it's like, but yet they freaking released it instead of being like, oh, we're going to hold back one second and beg that J.J. Abrams would turn so we can actually understand. She's like, no, no, they, they're going to release it. They know it's going to be making money. And then we got Sony. <laughs> we got Sony. How in the world did Sony think it was okay for... Venom 2 to kill Cletus Cassidy and heck not a lot of blood and stuff not even rated R how in the world did they think that would have played out Morbius you cut out a lot of stuff from it and now we got it to this one where it's like many people are making fun of it and crap it's like Sony technically has no shame that's the thing that came out of this whole entire thing when it comes to Spider-Man and Marvel stuff, period. After Spider-Man 3, they have no shame. They have no shame, and they were going to continue on doing some mezzo crazy stuff. Kind of think that WB should sn kind of drink some of their freaking Gatorade over there. Yeah, just drink their Gatorade, just a little sippy cup Gatorade, and be like, all the hell with it, let's just release Batwoman. I mean, Batgirl. Freak Batwoman. And, of course, we have still, and I haven't heard it get canceled, they're going to do a streaming exclusive movie with El Morte, who is technically a ripoff of Bane that goes out against Spider-Man. But lo and behold, just like what they did for Morbius and Venom, Spider-Man will not be present in that movie either. <laughs> and you see where it's like... And you guys have Batman in a movie, and you can't, and you just canned it. It's just mind boggling where it's like, can't you just release it on streaming? It's like, yeah, not even streaming. 
well then how about you just release it on blu-ray and dvd yeah i mean come on just just do that it's like no no we're just, you're just not gonna do it at all and it's like oh i hope the worst thing happens <clears throat> i hope one of the employees are disgruntled and messed the freak up and pissed off with your ass and they just leak it online because this is kind of stupid where it's like okay well you're not making money anyway so at least allow their work to be appreciated Think of it as the Sundance Festival. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the guys aren't going to get money out of it. They're just showing what happened. And you might be having real, real critical looking at it. But in actuality, it might not be a bad movie at all. And of course, many people are talking about the fact that when it comes to bad girls outfit, oh my gosh, they didn't spend money on the outfit. And it's like... Well, did you see what the comic version of the one that they adapted it from looks like? Pretty sure it's true blue actually leans towards it. And I'm pretty sure Batman is not like, oh, yes, well, I gave her that costume. It was like, damn, Bruce Wayne, you cheap ass. <laughs> it's like, I'm pretty sure she made that shit all by her damn self. And I guess most likely she has to prove herself just like what happened in the Batman season two. But even then, in the Batman season two, all he did was actually gave her actual gear that was good. <laughs> yeah, gave her a real grappling hook, gave her batarangs. Versus this one where it's like, well, maybe she will get a better costume at the end of the movie. We don't know what's going to happen. In the end of his whole entire thing, all it has to be said is that if you're saying it's a bad movie, if you're saying it's horrible, if you're saying it's really horrible, then there's many other movies that have been released that are horrible. Green Hornet should have been like this movie. They say, oh, 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 hell no. And they just be like, OK, well, we're going to just not release this. It's been canned. This movie is been canned. Yeah, it's like so many other movies that needs to be canned that weren't and they were actually released. This one doesn't deserve to be canned. If you don't really like it and who knows and just let me just say this when it comes to streaming audience. The people who actually are the test audience. You're getting a bunch of dum-dums. It has to be said. It's like I'm pretty sure when it comes to the movies. You're getting a bunch of dum-dums. What you really need to do is get actual people who actually are comic book fans. That's what you really need to do. Comic book fans. People who are watching the movies. Not just random freaking people. But like, hey, you want to watch a movie? Want to watch a movie and write it? Come with me. It's like, no, you need to get people who actually will freaking be like, here's what we need to say. Here's how you can change any crap. It's like, yeah, not forget your bullshit of words. Like, like, for instance, um, which one was it? Age of Ultron? Yeah. Where it's like, oh, it was Loki. Loki's still a bad guy. He's a bad guy in this one, too. It's like, you dumb ass son of a bitch. And that's why they actually cut out one scene that would have been cool good job jerk asses <laughs> good job you jerk asses. like when it comes to people who are actually screening movies and a test audience they should not be dum-dums they should not be dum-dums at least half of them maybe half of them should be dum-dums half of them but you need to find actual true blue fans ones that actually will give you grievances and be like okay so this is what you did wrong this is what you did right and hopefully it can balance it out to be like oh this is how we can fix it versus everyone hated it everyone said it was bad oh my gosh but in all seriousness though they could just suck. It's like, yeah, note, there could just be people who suck at telling you what's good and what's bad. Because, again, people's tastes are different. And maybe you just had a bad batch that you chose. It's like, I don't care. It's like, I don't care if someone just randomly, the person who actually watched the test audience, be like, hey, this messed up. I'm not bad taste. I'm good. And I'm not a dodo but smart. It's like, mm. 
if you were really truly smart, you would have kept your mouth damn ass shut. <laughs> Just saying, it's like this movie's been ninety bucks. And if you kind of actually just read context clues, because it's a WB movie. Don't you see that they've been killing freaking TV shows? It's like all the freaking DC TV shows getting killed. They, um, Legends of Tomorrow's gone. Batwoman, gone. Uh, what's another one? <laughs> it's like, oh, what's another one? Oh, yeah, Super Gone. Supergirl, gone. It's like some of them actually just went by themselves, but still it's like, yeah, gone, gone, gone. Naomi, gone, gone. And it's like, you kind of should actually read between the lines. If you actually say this is bad, it will be gone. So you should have did the right thing and kept your big mouth shut and be like, it's okay, movie. Everyone should just agree, be like, it's okay, movie. So at least we can have this. And it's like, it sucks that Sony... <laughs> Even though they most likely kind of know that Morbius is a horrible, crappy movie. They still put it back in theaters just because they thought that people liked the movie after all. Even though it's like, now they're just making fun of it of how bad it is. It's kind of like whoever did Steel, which Steel is not a bad movie. Steel has issues, of course. But in the end, it's like... It would be like everyone was saying how bad Steel is, but yet they thought it was good. They, they were saying, actually, they love me. And they just send it back to theaters. And it's like, the fuck? <laughs> so all it's really said is this. <clears throat> the movie should be released. The test audience are technically a bunch of dum-dums. They should have understood that crap. It's like, it, again, it's like another freaking example. It's like basically seeing in front of you. It's like y'all guys are just clueless, but all around you, you have people getting shot. It's like, hey, what do you think about the Joker movie? Eh, it's I right. <laughs> Hey, you just have people getting shot. And then you don't understand that watching all y'all guys are just in there in the bank getting robbed. And then one person just comes in there being like, hey, what do you think about the Joker movie? I don't care about it. <laughs> it's like, you just, it's like, you guys could have actually said, whoa, 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 say it's good, say it's okay, say it's good. It's like, you could save the person from getting his head, just headshot it. And yet, you guys are just so damn clueless that the movie has been canceled. I mean, yes, there could be a moment of where it's like they still would cancel it, but at least we could actually not have to be like, what the fuck did you tell them, test audience? What the fuck did you tell them? <laughs> the test audience, what the fuck did you tell them? Because test audience, they kind of wreck movies. And it's like, this is the first instance that we can now tell that you kind of had a hand and getting a movie just extremely erased from even being released. It's like, yeah, the, the freaking blood at this case, the if irritative blood is on your hands now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the guys were like, oh shit, did we do that? And it's like, yep, you were partially to blame on that, buddy. And now you're going to have to live with the fact that you saw a movie that no one else will ever see good for you good for you you idiot oh boy but it should be released if not anything at least make it blu-ray and dvd so you'll never stream it the only way how you can get it is like limited copies that are been released there, there you go so it's like you just have limited copies being released hopefully i'm able to get it too and You'll never legally actually have it streamed. So it's never going to be able to be anywhere else. Not going to be on TV. Not going to be able to be on demand. Not going to be on streaming. The only way I can really actually watch this movie is by watching it on DVD or Blu-ray. Maybe even, maybe even crazier and just have it on DVD. If you just put it on DVD alone, I'm pretty sure many people will pass it up. <laughs> Because they want the Blu-ray. They want Blu-ray now. 
And it's like, yeah, but I would take the freaking DVD. So, there we go. I'm going to go to bed now. Cops in Springfield. Bad cops, bad cops. All right, boys.